welcome back to my channel. I'm Poshmark Canada, Rainbow Poops, Poshmark USA, Rainbow Poops One, Instagram, Rainbows After Midnight, and somewhere on eBay. So today I'm going to do a Goodwill haul. I'm actually gonna move this a bit because my shoe section over there is a little bit of a mess. So let's leave that over there. We'll just get this model's legs in the picture. And here he walks in, gingerbread, of course. You know, he has to see what's going on. So I went to Goodwill. I didn't go last week. I've been really busy with uh, work stuff. And soon I'm gonna be incredibly busy. So I'm trying to get in a couple trips here and there when I can. So I did end up stopping for a bit. I spent, I believe like $180. $180, yeah. Is pretty high. Um, there's a few things that I did pick up that were a little more pricey. A couple different things that I haven't picked up before, haven't found, and some stuff that I was excited to find because it's been a while since I found it. So we're going to start. Okay, lay down over there. You're always sitting in my way. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna start. So this one has again um, two little like round things in the front and they put more higher end a lot of new tag stuff in there so I always check because sometimes there is good stuff in there but then sometimes stuff is expensive there was a pair of Lululemon pants they were nice but they were $50 nice for yourself but not for reselling but I did find these pants in there and I thought I would try them they were a little more than I would spend on Lululemon and I'll tell you why I spent what I did so these were $29.99, which is expensive. It's a, they're a size six. I've never seen this kind of style. Wait, do I have it right? There we go. So they look like this. They're kind of like stretchy. It's got the logo on the back. I'm not sure the name or anything of this, but the reason why I picked it up, it's actually been dry cleaned, is because these are, um, these are very, very new Lululemons. So this is how you can tell the new ones is they no longer say Lululemon on here. It just has the logo. So if you do find ones that just have the logo, don't think like, oh, it's a fake. Cause it's not, it's probably just the newer one. And I believe it also has the code. So again, the newer ones is hard to kind of make it out, but they have the code in there. So I can type that in and find out when it's from and all the details. So I think these actually could do quite well. I know they're $30, but because they are so new and it's a great size and a good style, I think it'll be good. Okay, so when I was checking out um, in the back, they had some bags and I usually don't look through them because you have to like ask the lady to like show you a bag. But there was a bag there and I thought, you know what, I'm gonna try it out. I don't really pick this up that often. I don't find it a lot, but it's Kate Spade. So this was a little more pricier again. It needs just a tiny bit of a cleaning. This was $29.99, so it was $30. Um, will I get that back? I have no idea. It has a little care card in here. It just needs like a little bit of a wipe down inside. It's not really that dirty. But it's this little backpack and I thought being a backpack because they are more trendy and stylish that this could do quite well because it's in really good condition. Just my it needs a sickle wipe down. So I actually found two Kate Spade things. There's actually three that I found in the store, but the one was kind of like eh, dingy. But I got something else in here too, which I will share. Actually, it's right here. So I did get this wallet. It was $7.99. The only thing is it doesn't have like the thing that hangs here but it is Kate Spade, it's black leather. It's in really good condition, quite clean on the inside. So I thought I would try it out. I mean, I was just missing the little part. It still closes just fine. Okay, so next up, I found a dress. It was $8.99 and it's actually new at Tags. This is Everlane. Um, I know a lot of people talk about Everlane. I have a hard time selling it, but I'm still gonna pick it up because I'm trying to get into the spring and summer stuff and being new with tag, why not? It's an extra small Everlane dress. So there's that there. It's like long, kind of like tiered, I guess. Really cute. So 
So I thought I would try that. All right. Next up, I really, really like this, the colors on here. This is, a, how much was this? $6.99. This is Wilfred Free, so a Ritzia piece, extra small. And look at the colors on here. It is so pretty. So I'm pretty sure this is some kind of like, oh, there's another cat. This cat has never been on the film. This is Stardust, by the way. She has never been in any of my videos. Uh, so this is like wool, alpaca. That's why it's super soft. Okay. Next. So I got this other dress. I wasn't too sure about it, but I thought I would try it out because I need some dresses and I need more spring and summer pieces. $8.99. It's a size small and this is actually by Paige, which I'm sure a lot of people know they make the jeans, but I've never seen dresses by them. And this is a long maxi really cute it's kind of like a heathered blue color it's in really good condition i don't have i don't think any maxi dresses listed at all so definitely something different the next was 6.99 this is probably similar in that material it's yeah alpaca and wool this is another wilford free extra small um a lot of times when i go there i find somebody like donates all their clothes now, I know people say like, oh, don't pick up small sizes, they don't sell, but that's not true because I have sold a ton of extra small stuff. I actually just sold the bundle recently for 160 and it was all extra small. So yes, it does sell. Just keep that in mind. And this is a cardigan. Looks like that. It's in pretty good shape, but just like a little bit of like minor pilling, but it's not shrunk or anything, which is obviously the most important thing. Next bag. So this was also on the rack and I was kind of debating if I should get it and I thought I would try it out because I know this brand does well. It was $14.99, so not too bad. This is the Aritzia ba uh, brand denim form and it's new at tag. And this is the Johnny High Rise Loose size 29. This actually retailed for $128 Canadian. It's like an olive green color looks just like that and being new with tags that is awesome and I think they're very uh, trendy right now too it's like the loose fitting but they're high next up was $8.99 this is actually a brand that I have not found in a long time and I almost passed it but I found the tag and I was excited because there is actually no inside tags on here. I don't even know if there's a size on here. Oh, I guess it does tell you inside, but I don't know what size it is. Anyways, this is, let me zip it up to show you. This is Save the Queen. Save the Queen is a higher end brand. They do a lot of like these funky patterns and stuff. It's like sheer sleeve, long dress. And how you know it saved the queen is usually somewhere on the items. It has like this little medallion and it says save the queen on there. But those things can bring in some decent money. And they sell fast. Next, this was on a new rack that was coming out. It was like a men's rack. So I don't know if this is men's. I'm assuming it is. I, I have sold this exact same pair, I believe, before. Um, the brand is Rolla's. This does quite well in the jeans section. Uh, good day, mate. And it's a size 3232, so it would be men's. You can always tell too, because the pockets, if the pockets are deep, it's men's. And yeah, they're just like a light blue jean. And somebody obviously cuffed them, which I can just obviously unroll that. So that was good. I didn't even check out the men's because I was kind of in a time rush, so. It's okay. I did get a lot of things. Next is $4.99. And this is size small. And this is by Anthropology, which I usually pick up if it says by Anthropology. It seems to be a higher retail value, like not retail, a higher sell value for some reason. And these are really cute little shorts. I don't have a lot of shorts and I'm being quite picky on them. 
So we will try those. Now this actually had a, I think it was a sweater, but it was a different material. I've never heard this brand. I couldn't really find a lot of information on it, but I thought because this is a new tag that I would try it out. The brand is called uh, OM and AH, so I don't know, it's like Almond Ah, maybe, Almond Ha. Huh? But it's got this cute little tag on here and it says each, each, each piece from this eco-friendly collection handmade in Bali using only organic, natural, and sustainable fibers from the earth. Thanks for protecting the planet, 100% cotton. So I thought that was really cool. And these are really nice. Like these are thick cotton, high rise, nice white, kind of like an ankle length pants, it's got pockets. And these were $6.99. As I say that, and there's like one mark, I might've actually dirtied it. It's okay, we will clean that up. Last bag, last bag. This is a brand I was looking for for so long and I have not found until today. So you guys can find stuff. It was $6.99, it's a size small. And this is Heartloom. I know Heartloom can be sold at like winners and stuff sometimes, but this sweater is also a super cute pattern. It's got the rainbows. Um, this also feels very similar to, okay, I guess it's not, this is polyester. Okay, I was gonna say like a wool blend, but it's not. But still, um, it could do quite well. It's very, I guess, similar to like Wild Fox and Chaser. I think they're in the same kind of category. Next, $6.99, I love the colors on here. It is a size two, and this is postmarked by Anthropology, so it's got this on here. But coming into the spring season, this floral blouse, oh, it's, it's very, very pretty. It's got the buttons, long sleeve, just like such a pretty color. Different colors throughout there too, so I had to get that one. And then I got another yellow one. It was $4.99. This is Meve size four. So this is another anthropology piece. There's the tag there and this is just a sleeveless blouse it's yellow again which is nice nice in spring it's got the floral looks like that and this is this is really pretty but it has little like strings I need to trim that's the only downfall to this piece I've actually never seen this in a top so it's a size small it was $4.99 and it says, I actually saw another one in the store, but it wasn't as nice looking from this brand as well. It just says Pilcro, which I'm assuming is Pilcro in the letterpress. Maybe this is a newer tag. I didn't know they made tops. I've never seen them, but this is just too nice to pass up. Look at this. Oh, oh, this is so pretty. And then the back just looks like this. But yeah, there's just like a little bit of like strings in here. But I'm thinking this is a lot of this is from the same person. A lot of multicolor, which is kind of cool. The last thing I got, which I'm gonna try out, I think it'll do okay, but I don't know. I did pay up a little bit. It's in great condition. Uh, $12.99. These are a size seven and a half, and these are Sam Edelman shoes. But I just I really like these. I think they will sell quite well. So they're velvet and they're blue with like a gold flower. And they like have the strap around the heel or the heel, the ankle. And they're in really good shape, like really good shape. Why are they writing numbers on the bottoms? Why does it say that 12 on there? I'll have to figure that to clean that out. Yeah, so that is everything I got. Um, I would have spent more time in there, but I was pretty busy today, so I didn't get to spend as much time as I wanted to and I also didn't go last week so there's a lot to still look at uh, pretty much everything I did get though is the new color of the week which I've talked about previously that's usually the only thing I will look at is the new stuff that hits the racks most of the time 
And yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, if you could do a thumbs up and subscribe. Oh, and subscribe. Oh, we're gonna go. We got stuff to do now. I'll see you later. Bye, say bye, Kinch. Bye-bye. <laughs>